For over a thousand years, all Bali's religious rites are to ensure that the forces of light and dark coexist amiably. And the dogs, poor devils, embody the dark side. We have what we call the Bali street dog. They come up yapping at your heels and you don't know how dangerous they might be. I come home one night and there he was and he bit me on the nose. And I've had him ever since. I just think they're amazing animals. They're strong, they're fiercely loyal, they're funny. Walaupun saya tahu bahwa anjing tidak berpikir. Try and train a Bali dog, forget it. Come, sit, heal. <laughs> You've got a wolf living in your house. Yet they hold a secret, a value to us all, which could vanish with them. In 2008, a fishing boat arrives in Bali, and with it, a dog that escapes ashore. Rabies had arrived. They responded in a way that most governments probably would respond. If we kill the dogs, rabies will go away. Any attempt at reducing the dog population is usually in vain. You know, it doesn't help. Salah. Bagaimana kita menanggung dosa? Our observations about the dogs of Bali is that they constitute one of the greatest remaining reservoirs of genetic diversity that still remains. Genetics does reveal that Bali's dogs share an evolutionary branch stretching all the way back to the proto-dogs. We don't have all the questions yet to ask, but they're emerging every day. And if we lose these populations, we lose the ability to answer those questions.